Aloha from Kilipohe, Ke Kane Aloha. Thought I'd give you a little view of the backyard here while I tell you what we're doing with the uh, Massey Ferguson GC2310 today. Um, part of the rebuild process of this tractor is to uh, put a new steering cylinder in it, and I've got one from Kubota. Uh, I got a Massey Ferguson tractor, but the Kubota cylinder seemed like it was going to work, so we're going to go through this whole process. So getting the part from Kubota and installing it in the Massey Ferguson and seeing how it runs. All right, let's do it. Okay, well, the, um, the steering equipment has arrived from Kubota. Take a look at what we got. Hopefully it's not too orange. 470 dollars shipped to Hawaii. Nicely packaged. Additional parts. So we should have two tie rod ends. do this packaging they have a little bit of a plastic thing to protect the threads kind of nice two tie rod ends that one doesn't go on very far Yeah. And then the piece de resistance, which has been bashed through the packaging, of course. Can't get a package in Hawaii without having it been destroyed. The resistance is the actual cylinder. Question is, are these the same threads as are on the Massey Ferguson one? And it does appear, yeah, perhaps they are. Those are supposed to be O ring boss. They do kind of look like straight threads. Okay, so this is the NPT fitting guide. It says that's quarter inch. Quarter inch fits in there pretty good. So pretty confident in saying that that is an MPT fitting. And this is 16 inches. And that's 15 and a half. The other question is, yeah, so it's a, it's a good eight to three sixteenths inch smaller diameter in between these, these snap ring bosses, which, yeah, is going to be an issue. I'm going to have to, do some playing around, maybe make a couple of parts to space these guys out so that the um, the piston will be held in the mounts. Yeah, that's where I got this stuff from, Messix. Really good online Kubota parts. Reasonable prices. These are the nuts. 
silly that the uh, the tie rod ends don't come with nuts. Four hundred seventy dollars seems like a lot, and it is, without a doubt, it is. But truthfully, it's way better than having to spend a thousand dollars on one of these things from Massey Ferguson. So the big question is, can this Kubota steering gear be adapted to work on the Massey Ferguson tractor? And to me, the most critical dimension is the distance between the, the two tie rod ends where they attach. Now this is set basically, you know, just exactly where it was when I took it off the tractor with the exception that there was two washers here and here and I, you know I realize you know I'm using a tape measure and I'm just kind of eyeballing where the the ball joints are to see if they're in the center and this one's all floppy but that's 20 26 and 9 16 outside to outside and we'll call it 26 and an eight center to center so if we can get this Kubota steering gear in the same area, which it's 26 and a 16th outside to outside right now, and 25 and a quarter center to center, give or take, I, I think that means without a doubt this. Kubota steering gear will work for my Massey Ferguson tractor. It's not ideal. I mean, I'm going to have, you know, the, the offsets are different here. I might end up you know, having to buy new hydraulic hoses, which probably I need a new hydraulic hoses anyway. Um, and, you know, because you can kind of see this one the Massey Ferguson one is a little bit longer, so I'm going to have to adapt the mounts to go on here, which should not be an issue. So this is one of the mounts. And you can see that, you know, this just goes up here and, and holds the steering cylinder in position. All I really have to do is uh, get a ring of steel that's the difference between between the thicknesses yeah because it's the same diameter and uh and weld it on here we're talking you know some 3 16 material and a hole saw and uh and i should be able to put a little spacer right up against there put it on there put this guy in adjust the toe in and bodge your uncle so good I didn't waste four hundred and seventy dollars buying this thing. Truth be told, if it was a lot more involved than that, like I had to cut this rod down or have it cut down, I would have done it. You know, even after that, I probably would have saved money going this route than this route. And you know, I have brand new tie rod ends. Uh, a brand new cylinder. It's not remanufactured or anything. I don't have some local guy cobbing it up. Um, the only real question is, uh, do these tapers match? And the Massey Ferguson's are a little bigger, which is fine because the the places where these mount are really really worn out on my my machine. So fine. I think we're good. Uh, we're going to go with the Kubota steering gear on the Massey Ferguson tractor. All right, so here's the solution that I've come up with for these uh, spacers. Um, I got a piece of scrap pipe, roughly two inches, I think it's two and eighth, from the local steel supply. Cleaned it off. Cut it with my uh, Evolution uh, cutoff saw, and it, which cuts pretty straight. This is the test piece. Uh, you know, there's probably half a millimeter variation in it, but that's that's fine. I mean, 
Uh, I'm going to weld these things on here and um, and if they're too long, because these are longer than they need to be, if they're too long, then what I'm going to do is um, is run them on the belt sander to flatten them off a little bit and that'll get them right. These are just a touch smaller than they should be. So as I go around, I'm going to try to clamp them together uh, as I weld them. I'm just going to tack, uh, probably put the brake next to that guy. And, I don't know, maybe I'll put it down at the, that's the bottom. Yeah, like, like that. Put the brake at the bottom. That way if any water gets in there, it'll, uh, it'll drain out. And I'm going to leave the brake. I'm not going to weld it in. It doesn't need it, I don't think. So, uh, yeah. I will do some of that, and we'll see how it goes. And get back to you. Okay, here's the results. Uh, not great welding, I admit. Uh, some of it's a little better than others. Trying to get it to focus. And so I had to relieve the welds uh, near the casting to get the um, to get the thing to fit properly, just a little bit. One thing <laughs> I noticed going to be kind of hard to tell but these are you know they're not symmetrical that is to say one tab is longer than the other and um one of these was installed backwards i was very careful to weld the ring on the side that was inside before and they're you know not the same anymore so if you if you look at this it's 31 millimeters or whatever and then this one is there and this one is the 31 millimeter side so i'm not going to redo it hopefully it'll work out like that that's how it was with the other um steering cylinder but let's go put them in with the steering cylinder in there and, and see how that works you know as far as that fitment goes if i need to I need to change that which I can't imagine why I would need to but um, these steel parts they're not expensive strap down ends I bet the Kubota ones would work too That is snug. Let's take a closer look. So you can see the, I mean, there's just, yeah, come on, focus. Just a little bit of, bit of a gap there, but it's really, I think it's quite tight. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna pull those things back off and paint them up and We'll call it good. One more thing I wanted to check was the clearance on the tie rod ends. I can't really push that in with one hand, but I, I wanted to check to make sure the tie rod ends were had good clearance. And yeah, okay, you can see there. If I can get it focused, yeah. Good clearance there. And uh, whichever side is right or not, I don't know. This side has pretty good clearance as well. You can see where it is. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good clearance for the tie rod ends. Uh, nice and tight on the mount. And that's it, man. Those are. That is a Kubota steering cylinder on a Massey Ferguson uh, tractor front end with a little bit of modifications to the mounts. Okay. Aloha.